Hey guys, I'm Joe, you're watching Theo Joe Tech. In one of my previous videos, I was talking about different types of monitor panels, and I talked about how there really aren't any PC monitors with OLED displays. They're mainly just for TVs at this point, and I thought I would talk about really why that is, because OLED really, at this point, does produce a beautiful picture. It's far superior, really, to most of the other panel types. So why do we really not see that on PC monitors at this point? There really are two main reasons that I'm gonna talk about. The first is degradation of the cells, and the second one is burn-in. Now, the first reason is because of degradation of the pixels or cells or whatever you wanna call them. Basically, when you have the OLED display on for a very long time, after several thousand hours, maybe 16,000 hours or so, they start to degrade and the different sub-pixels, whether it's RGB, red, green, or blue, each of them degrade at different rates. The blue sub-pixel degrades slower or faster, I forget, forget which one it is, but basically you're gonna have a color cast after just a few thousand hours of using the monitor, which is a big problem for computer monitors because obviously you have them on for much longer than say a TV. So computer monitors are usually on all day, whereas a TV, you know, typically they're not on as often. You usually turn them off, that sort of thing. And also why it's more important is because on a PC monitor, if it's gonna be professionally used like an IPS panel or something, if you're using that and need to have correct color representation, if it's degrading and has a color cast, like a blue color cast, that's gonna be very bad because then the whole point of buying an expensive reference monitor is so you can have that correct color, and if it's not correct, then that's a big issue. There are a couple, I believe, by Sony right now, but they cost around $16,000, so they're really meant for, you know, absolutely professional use, really high end, and at this point, IPS is still the way to go for a correct color and high end monitors. Now, the second reason we don't see OLED monitors is burn-in. As you probably know, a lot of CRT monitors previously and you know plasma TVs, those sort of panels get burn-in, and so do OLEDs. Now, what that is, is if you have the same image on the screen for a very long time without a screensaver or something like that, it's going to burn on to the monitor, which most people, are they are not accepting of that anymore. You know, people kind of dealt with it a long time ago and pretty much all TVs had burn in, but at this point, it's really not something you see anymore. So if someone went out and bought a monitor that has uh, burn in, they're gonna be really upset with it. And the reason we see it on TVs is because usually a TV doesn't really show the same exact image at different parts of the screen for very long, whereas on a computer monitor, it's gonna pretty much always show, for example, the task bar, the little close window X at the top right, that's gonna be on way more than a TV, which you know might show the news ticker for maybe 30 minutes to an hour while that show is on, but you're not gonna get it to the degree of a computer monitor, which really does show you know the same background or something for literally as long as the monitor is on. So you'd have to use screensavers, a lot of people don't wanna deal with it, and it, they're pretty much just gonna have to solve that problem before they become widely available to the public. You probably are gonna see you know, maybe some monitors that get burning a little bit, but they're gonna be specialized, so people who buy that are gonna know about that, but that's another one of the main reasons why we probably aren't having as many PC monitors as we do on TVs, because of that burn-in. But I'm actually really excited. I'm hoping they come up with some solutions for these, because OLED monitors seem very promising. They have unmatched contrast compared to any other panel type, because you know they can get 100% black, they can just turn off the pixel, whereas with an LED backlight, that backlight is always on, so you can get amazing contrast. And also, from what I understand, OLED monitors, the, the pixels, have a way higher potential for very fast refresh times. One figure I read is that you could have up to you know a thousand hertz for a monitor. Can you imagine a gaming monitor that's a thousand hertz? I really can't wait for something like that to come out. I'm sure we'll get to that point. And OLED, I think, is gonna be the way to go. So, you know, maybe we'll see some monitors coming out at CES. I'm gonna be at CES. OLED monitors is definitely gonna be one of the topics I'm gonna be exploring because I'm really interested in that 
myself, specifically for high refresh rate, and of course, the amazing viewing experience that you get on OLED TVs and that sort of thing. So hopefully that satisfies your guys' curiosity. I know I was curious myself about why we don't see that many PC monitors, but that's pretty much why. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys liked it. And if you want to talk about more OLED stuff down in the comments section, maybe I missed something or you want to elaborate for other people, you guys can continue the conversation down there. I'll be looking down there as well. If you want to continue watching, I've got some other videos on the right hand side, like that monitor panel comparison video I was talking about, as well as another video. And you can just click that or look in the description for the same link, like if you're on a phone. And if you guys want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week, so I think it should be worth it. So thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.